Are you struggling to make ends meet, feeling like your dreams are slipping away? Imagine sitting in a dimly lit cafe, a single mother scribbling away at a manuscript that seems like your last hope. This was J.K. Rowling in the early 1990s, teetering on the brink of despair. Yet, from this moment of profound vulnerability, Rowling's life took a turn that would not only redefine her fate but also leave an indelible mark on the literary world and its millions of readers. Rowling's journey from living on state benefits to becoming the world's richest author is not just a tale of financial success, it is a story of overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles through sheer determination and belief in one's dreams. Her narrative is a poignant reminder of the power of resilience and the human spirit's capacity to triumph over adversity. This tale begins in the quaint Scottish city of Edinburgh where Rowling, battling depression and financial constraints, began penning what would become one of the most beloved series in children's literature. Her story is one of raw human emotion, intertwined with the magical escapism that would later captivate a global audience. Born on July 31, 1965 in Yate, England, Joanne Rowling's early life was marked by humble beginnings. The seed of storytelling was planted early in her, fueled by her reading voraciously and dreaming up her own stories. Despite her passion, Rowling faced various challenges that made her path to success anything but straightforward. Before her rise to fame, Rowling's life was fraught with personal losses and professional rejections. The death of her mother in 1990 deeply affected her and her subsequent move to Portugal to teach English ended in a short-lived marriage and a difficult divorce. Returning to the UK with her daughter, Rowling found herself grappling with depression and poverty, a period she describes as her rock bottom. Amid these personal crises, Rowling clung to the one thing that offered her comfort and escape writing. The concept of Harry Potter had come to her during a delayed train journey from Manchester to London in 1990, and it was during these trying times that she began to flesh out the world that would eventually enthrall millions. The idea for Harry Potter may have struck Rowling on a train, but it was in the small cafes of Edinburgh that the boy who lived was brought to life. As she juggled motherhood and her ambitions, Rowling's commitment to her vision never wavered. She would spend hours in these cafes, her baby daughter by her side, translating her vivid imagination onto paper. The early manuscripts of what would become Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone were filled with the wonders of a magical world. Yet this world was more than just an escape for Rowling, it was a reflection of the struggles and triumphs of its author, a young boy facing immense challenges and finding strength in his friendships and his own sense of justice. As Rowling poured her heart and soul into her writing, she also embedded within her characters and their stories her own values and lessons. Themes of love, loss, courage, and redemption ran deep, resonating with readers and providing a rich emotional depth that would become a hallmark of the series. Despite her dedication and the vivid world she had created, Rowling's early attempts to get published were met with rejection. Twelve publishing houses turned down the manuscript of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Each rejection was a blow, yet Rowling's belief in her story remained unshaken. She persisted, driven by the conviction that her story was one that needed to be shared. This period of rejection tested Rowling's resolve but also taught her the invaluable lesson of perseverance. It is a testament to her strength that she continued to submit her manuscript, undeterred by the industry's initial lack of faith in her vision. Her persistence is a powerful lesson in not allowing rejection to derail one's dreams. Finally, the tide turned. The Bloomsbury Publishing House in London decided to take a chance on Rowling's work, encouraged by the CEO's eight-year-old daughter, who, after reading the manuscript, eagerly demanded the next chapters. This pivotal moment was not just a turning point for Rowling, but for millions of future readers and the literary world at large. The publication of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1997 marked the beginning of what would become a global phenomenon. The book, and each subsequent installment, broke sales records and captivated audiences worldwide. Rowling's life transformed overnight from one of financial insecurity to global recognition. 
The success of the Harry Potter series brought Rowling not only financial freedom, but also critical acclaim. Her books received numerous awards, and her storytelling prowess was recognized with accolades such as the Order of the British Empire. More importantly, she had succeeded in creating a universe that offered both an escape and a mirror to the real world for readers of all ages. As the series grew, so did its impact. It was adapted into films, merchandise, and even a theme park, each new venture helping to cement Harry Potter's place in cultural history. Rowling's journey from a struggling single mother to the world's first billionaire author is a narrative of unprecedented success, driven by imagination and indomitable will. What's your next step towards greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.